Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Lamar Jackson doing Lamar Jackson things. Fired up for this one. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. <laughs> Before we dive into the video, quick reminder about the Quarterback School Patreon community. This group is the foundation, the bedrock of the channel. Not only is it a great, cheap way to support the channel, but you get even more Quarterback School content. So if you want to know what it's like to be in an NFL quarterback room, all sorts of nuanced, detailed depth about not only the quarterback position, but high-level offense and defensive football, hop over to the Quarterback School Patreon community. I sincerely appreciate your support. You can join by clicking the link in the video description. As for this video, let's get into it. Lamar Jackson doing his thing playoffs love to see it right here a bit of a non-traditional way to beat the blitz to get us going we're going to be hot down here to the bottom to the left he's going to work to the right and the fact that he can do this he's done this for years where he essentially just believes in his ability and has the ability to kind of get depth and flick this thing off his back foot so what's going on here is we essentially have a free runner to the bottom so we're going to be hot here he's unblocked i think traditionally you would want to throw into that hot. So if you have a flat right here, that's where I think most quarterbacks would go with the ball. Up top, we're going to run this little like loop or return. So you're going to come up, fake like you're going out, and come back in. Well, that's a great man beater. That's a great route. The problem is, is that it doesn't happen quickly. This, you can get that out of your hand immediately. To hang on and throw that loop or return, he's got to kind of bail away from a free runner. So the decision-making might not be what most people do, but Lamar Jackson is not most quarterbacks. I think that's been well established at this point. So again, you can see the hot down here to the bottom. You can see the speed out or quick out down here to the bottom. Both good throws as a hot. Or you can just bail, have the torque and the ability to put it right on him first down. So it's just a, you know, these are choices that you make. Now, the thing about it is later in the game, Lamar Jackson will throw into the hot. So it's not consistent, but it works right here. Next one here, third and 12. This is a hell of a throw up top. I'm going to call it a stop route. Now it's third and 12, and stop routes are usually 9 to 10-ish yards. So even though it's a great hookup, it's not necessarily a first down. Now we might get closer to first down and maybe think about going for it, but Lamar Jackson takes a shot right here. And this is outstanding quarterbacking. So first off, let's talk about exactly what the throw is, what the route is. So for me here, this stop route up, like you're running a vertical, hit the brakes, and then the thing about the stop route is you want to come right back down the stem so the quarterback can really throw this with anticipation. So they're going to let this thing go right before you're out of this thing so that the ball's halfway in the air to you. But you can see here where the sticks are. Even if you catch it and it's contested and it's a catch and tackle, you're not going to get the first. So one of those things where, yeah, you would love <laughs> – to get a first down, but this is a hell of a hookup. Lamar Jackson's not calling the plays. It, it's not one of those routes. This is not one of those routes where you can run it deeper because it's third and 12. This is a timing. Watch him get rid of this ball right there. He's already throwing it. Up top, you can see the route not out of that break yet. Middle field closed, man. Really like it. Now, you could maybe make the argument, hey, why don't you throw it down here to the bottom? I don't know how they're reading this thing. Hey, I'm not sure anybody gets a first down. Maybe if you pop it on the new number three down here to the bottom. But you, he's not hot. That's the other thing. He takes a big shot, which shows a lot of courage to hang in there. But this is the left guard, left tackle, not passing off a TE. You can see the left guard, left tackle. Left guard just can't come off of that thing. He needs to get more depth. Nice shot by the left tackle. Closing the door. And the left guard just can't come off. And that's not on the back. The back's coming all the way across for 25. That's a big shot, I and mean, that's a big hit. Stand in there and take that from a really good defensive end. Boom. Holy moly. Next one here, Lamar Jackson, really nice scramble. We're going to talk about this play and maybe be a little bit critical of the read and just kind of show areas where even though Lamar Jackson, multiple-time MVP, I still think when you turn on the film, there are areas in the passing game where he can get a little bit better and quicker. But if it's not there... The ability to do this, simply one of the best to ever do it. Good, clean decision. Rarely turns the ball over, puts it in harm's way. Go get vertical. Go get a big chunk. Love it. Now, 
route wise up top what we're working with here is essentially this little stack and then we're trying to get this essentially the guy in short motion flowers as he comes across up and to the post the first guy flowers can tailpipe him get right behind him and then he's coming out well neither one of these are great because you've got the corner outside the out so he's outside leverage you've got the safety kind of inside the post and deep i would hope that he could get off this faster and get back to the backside in now this is things you see like super vets do i think of guys like matt stafford as the best at getting back to the backside in so when you hit this back of your drop whatever it is we'll say five steps you can see it's not like you're waiting for these guys to come out of these breaks you're not you see the leverage of the defenders outside the out deep and over the top of the post and it's quicker back to the backside in so just play it out timing wise and you in i think you would agree that the video shows that he could get back a tick quicker and throw this in so no up top he's at the top hitch no down here to the end bottom and again nobody's better than that guy running the backside in one, two, three, four, five. No, backside. And again, it's great that he's able to run and do this, but I think most teams would try to be better at clogging the middle, you know, attempt maybe to have a spy type guy, but this is there. Go take it. The outcome is great, but I think you can continue to see the growth opportunities, specifically in the passing game and just getting through things. So no, backside. He, he never gets backside, right? And again, I'm not arguing that it's a bad outcome. It's a good outcome. Right there, instead of taking off to run, just shuffle up and throw it to the backside end. He's pretty good. If all fails, though, this is pretty damn good, too. Let's go. Next one, second and long here. This is a pretty impressive one on a number of different levels. The pass protection to pick up the safety pressure down here to the bottom and not waste the back and pass protection. Then the throw from Lamar Jackson down here on the bottom on the deep seven cut. It's a hell of a throw. This is not an anticipation throw. This is a see it, flick it. And again, Lamar Jackson has a very unique stroke as far as the twitch and the flick element of just think dartish. But he also throws with great touch. That's kind of the flip side of it. Normally you see a dart thrower, not a great touch thrower. Lamar Jackson's got all the above. So first of all, just watching the safety down here to the bottom, five. Most teams, I would say, would be anticipate anytime you get a safety type we'll call him db type as he enters here and shows his pressure that he's going to blitz you would love the offensive line to redirect and go these five i think it's hard to do because normally they're setting for something inside the box but this is a great example of a fan from the right guard right tackle out to these two not waste the back meaning he can get out into his check down so that's the pass pro part of it the route part of it here, up, inside, nice coverage. Dude's in his hip the whole way with bad leverage. He just wins at the top and is able to come out of this thing. Lamar takes a big five-step drop. So five steps, up, heel click, up, heel click. Then he resets his base to where I would love for him to play more consistently at and then just flicks an absolute seed right across the field to that set deep seven. So a lot moving on, a lot of moving parts. First, let's watch the pass protection. Watch that right guard, right tackle fan out. The back's then able to get out on the check down, right? They're bringing five, five one-on-one -on -one blocks with a chip up top. And now let's watch Lamar's feet. Back of the drop, five, keep that base. Click, click, but then watch him. Then he resets to his base right there. And now let's watch the route at the bottom, that deep seven cut with the burst in. So in up i mean look at look at that leverage right there you're not thinking you're going to win on the out whoop fly right by now when does he throw it throws it right there so he's already won so it's a see it throw it which is fine when you've got the arm strength you're just not going to get yak because you're going to put it on the sideline that's a hell of a route from four it's a great job from lamar trusting him beautiful pass protection beautiful and again sometimes you're going to have to move violently the, the no heel click thing is not a, a never it's once you get reestablished, reestablish the base, which he does. And then he's able to just flick that thing. Dot. Next one here, third and five. 
This is a variation of mesh I've never seen before. There are elements of it that I really like. Uh, also, Lamar Jackson just doing Lamar Jackson things here as far as running the rock. Runs for 100 yards over the course of the game. I think you could make the argument again here that he could throw it. I don't think there's anything wrong. In fact, if I had anything to do with this offense, I would be encouraging him to do this as often as possible, especially in the playoffs. But this is one of those plays. It's third medium. To me, this is mesh. So the first part of this is it's a condensed three-by-one bunch formation. We're going to get a fast four over here running the swing. The mesh part of it we'll talk about, but I've never seen it paired with this crosser who can also settle or kind of turn down. Then we get the deep hook, so we get the mesh part of it. Now, for some reason, the one over here goes over the top. I would prefer that he was underneath because you're essentially getting the three picks for him coming across. But he goes over the top. So we're over the top here of the mesh. So you get this potentially settle here. You get the number three coming across the field, settling here. So I think you could make the argument, this could be thrown, this could be thrown, this could be thrown. Now, is it bad that Lamar Jackson runs it? Hell no. Okay, but I really like the idea of that crosser being able to get over there and be another good zone option. Right? Like you can... This is not me like making things up, right? All three of those guys from the bunch are open. Shallow, crosser, deep hook. But go get it yourself. And then put your shoulder down and get us inside the five. Hell yes. It's just beautiful, man. And Lamar Jackson is this dude as far as very few guys you would say, hey, it's almost better for you to run it yourself. And the fact that the Texans don't have a plan here to put the clamps on him or try to put the clamps on him is a bummer. Next one here, touchdown pass. This is a really nice job. This is a pretty unique design, and we'll talk about kind of the, the flavor off the normal play here. But nice job from Lamar, finding him, crosser, wide open. If this is the intent of it, it's outstanding. So this is power pass to the right. Usually you're trying to get the fullback in the flat to a crosser coming towards the flat. This is usually the last option. I'm not sure if it just pops or if this is how they're designing it to do. Regardless, we'll talk through kind of the outcome first. So we're across, we're bluffing the in man on the line of scrimmage, and we're into the flat. Normally, we're trying to go up and work the back line. And then the number one down here is usually trying to come up and pick for the flat and then come across and pick for the shallow. So coming across this way, and this shallow is kind of the number two. And you read this thing kind of one to two to three to four all the way back across the field right to left. That's how it's normally run. Now, how it's run right here is we're coming across, we're into the flat, we're up and working the back line. And then this route right here by 15, he comes up and now he is underneath the number one on the backside. So we come across and it looks like we're trying to pick here and then come out the back door where the touchdown is. So you can see this corner have to fight through that pick. So you, you've got all these runners here. And then he's got to fight through that tight end on the backside and just can't get through there. So it's kind of a unique changeup off the traditional power pass down here at the goal line. I really like it. Obviously works. Pops wide open. Easy throw. Beautiful design. So again, watch that tight end on the backside. So flat to the bottom. Yeah, maybe. No. Okay. Now watch that tight end up top. Pick. Whoop. Thank you. It sure looks like he's trying to pick a rub, right? Like he's trying to get in the way. Jump. Hell yeah. Beautiful design. Excellent goal line, short yardage execution. Nice job from Lamar. Again, put so much stress on the defense with his ability to run it. Great timing. That thing pops wide open. Nice little dart flick right on the face. Hell yes. Next one here, third and seven. This is a funky one. I don't think this is on Lamar Jackson at all, but we're working the number two up top. And I think Flowers, the number one, just gets confused. I can't imagine that this is what they want the execution to look like. This is a little friendly fire. I think 15's got a good chance to work that thing away. You can see the leverage. I think Lamar puts it right on him. Now, he might be dropping that before he even gets hit by Flowers, but I'm sure Flowers' presence there doesn't help 15. And that could easily have been an interception. Tip balls over the middle of the field, bad news. And really, you can see here the design of we're up. We've got that defender on our inside. It's third and seven. We're going to get past the sticks and come out of this thing, give us a nice little window to put it right on us. Nice. 
Now, what's going on here? I don't know. It looks like he's confused. He comes off like he's just looking, 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 and then kind of feels space here and decides he's going to come into this area and end up making a, you know, a nice defensive play for the Texans. So a little sloppy third down execution, you know, hard to put this on the quarterback or 15. Again, watch flowers up top, mouthpiece dangling, looking around. That's not a route. That certainly is not the spacing that we're looking for. And really fortunate that that tip ball doesn't go right to the corner. Whoop. Oh my goodness. What a nightmare that would have been. Regardless, I thought Lamar Jackson makes the correct read. The ball's out on time. Maybe he doesn't put it exactly where he wants. Again, <laughs> people get all sensitive about this, but this is just my opinion. At the top of this drop, he's not lined up to the left. His feet are all over the place again. That that's just not <laughs> that's just not the most efficient way to move. That you just don't need it. He's going karaoke there. Back to his base. If he just played like that, it would be so much easier. Oh, man. And he still almost gets it. Next one here. Really tough kind of series right before half. I'm going to make the argument again that I think Lamar Jackson could get through this read and hit the backside in. You know, I think he brings himself to trouble a little bit by so moving so violently up in the pocket. So a combination of just a little bit more precise a little bit better pocket feel not to go so violently up 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 but really he never gets to the backside in and it's a pattern within his game he looks like he's fired up about somebody down the field this to me looks like a very similar play to what we saw earlier with that deep seven cut down here to the bottom or deep out so up out some variation of a crosser or in and then that backside in and i'm making the argument that you would probably read this thing universally one two Three, right to left across the field. To me, this deep in cut, now I know he's already hit it with a tough look, but it's not there. I'd like to see him get off of it earlier. Crosser, I don't know. In, yes. So if we could just get through it a tick quicker, a tick quicker, we're not taking hits, we're not taking sacks, maybe we get some more points before half. You be the judge down here to the bottom. So, N not there at the bottom up top crosser leveraged how about the end yes the end's wide open got throw it now again he hits that back step the back foot and he's up 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 because he's got pressure from his right tackle okay you you, you got to move up reset through the read uh and it looks like he's thinking about throwing that crosser and never gets to the backside end so just again all it is is my opinion with video evidence of us not getting to the backside end does it matter in this game? No. Will we see him get to it later? I hope so. I certainly think he can, just for whatever reason, doesn't right here. So up, one, uh, again, he's trying to throw that crosser right there, as opposed to saying, hey, that's leveraged. You can see the safety's feet in the logo, right? That's leveraged. Get to the backside in. And again, would, it, would he be easier, in my opinion, if he kept his base as he moved and didn't go karaoke style? Yeah, but that's just not how he plays right now. Uh, 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 and a sack. Damn. So next one here, another rough sack. This time, technically we're hot with a free runner up top. I'm not sure I can tell you who exactly is at fault, but what I can tell you is that it doesn't look like Lamar Jackson's got a whole lot of answers to this problem. So looks like we get a little confused at the line of scrimmage. We'll talk through exactly what the hot is, but at the end of the day, let's talk about the actual outcome. So we've got a free runner which essentially comes from up top. If that's the case, I would say universally, you would expect this guy to be hot, doing something. Now, maybe the back makes a mistake. Maybe the back is supposed to block up here, and we're supposed to be hot down here to the bottom. Well, no one's looking. Okay, so it's second and forever. They're going to bring thunder. Okay, we got to have a plan. We don't have a plan. Not hot, not hot not looking hot, meaning no one's running and looking or running any sort of hot-ish route. So not only do we get tricked in pass protection, but we don't have an answer in the pass concept. I mean, look at all the receivers. No one is looking for the ball. Now, if this was practice, you know, you could put it on the tight end's ear, but you're not going to do that in the game. And again, the pass pro looks like they make a mistake. So it's not a 
easy look by any means. If I had to guess, I would say this is essentially a four person slide. So we're gonna go right here, 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 and here. And that's gonna put the tackle out. And then usually, I would imagine this would put the back on a one to two, the nickel off the edge blitzes as well, scan dual. Okay, but that's not what happens. This guy comes up and he goes all the way over to the nickel, which then we get this free runner coming right here. Okay, the only reason I think you would do this from the back, and this would be like graduate level, doctoral level, pass pro, is if they somehow went 5-0 here. So this is not a premium 5-0 look for me. Here, and then it would be here with these two. But when this guy drops out, this fan would continue and you would be able to pick that up there. Then the back would go all the way across. I mean, you're talking like whiteboard video clicker answers here. Okay, For me, what I would imagine most, again, to repeat, these four going to these four. And then the back, in my opinion, probably makes a mistake here and should be right here. And then we'll be hot off the nickel coming off the edge. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> At the end of the day, Lamar Jackson takes a big hit. And this is not the world I think the Ravens want to live in. So solving this, boom, boom, boom. Again, just two unnecessary sacks at the end of the first half. Rough finish. Too many hits. Got to have better answers. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. I really do appreciate you subscribing to the channel. So thank you for taking the time and doing that. I appreciate you. Again, the quarterback school, Patreon community, you know about it. Join, become a member. The link is in the video description. Get even more quarterback school content. We also have quarterback school courses. Now, these courses are the premium content available through the channel. These are deep, deep dives on my favorite football topics. We have a course on RPOs, tempos, pass protection. The best-selling course is how to beat every coverage. We even have an entire offensive system available for you. So if you enjoy the way that I talk and teach ball, you will love the courses. Hop over there and enroll. The link is in the video description. We also have a bunch of free resources also linked in the video description. Finally, make sure to follow me across social media platforms. I appreciate your support. As for this video, let's get back to it. All right, second half. Really like this call. To me, this is a PRO. We're going to got hitches down here to the bottom with the new one and two. And they're running draw with the running back. So if the hitches are there, take it. Maybe if you get pressure, throw the hitch. We definitely get some weak side pressure here. The draw is not going to be there. We're going to have unblocked guys, heavy box. And so we solve it with a pass. So just a really nice job here. We're bringing this inside motion coming up and blocking. We're going to run these hitches down here. So hitch, hitch. I'm calling this a PRO because the pass happens before the run read. So we're going to have this safety type pressure like this. We're going to have essentially an unblocked player in the box on draw. Even with six people here, because just do the quick math here. One, two, three, four at the line of scrimmage. That's a seven person box. Got to throw it. It's a really nice shot. I just love seeing the answers. Lamar Jackson executing a really nice RPO offense. So no to the draw, hitch. And really you got either hitch down here to the bottom. Catch, throw. And you can see here from the back, if he didn't throw it, and if it was a clean pitcher look for a light box, you just hand it off to the back. Watch the back shuffle over. He's waiting for the draw. It's actually a nice job by the right guard, right tackle to sort that thing out for the pressure. But no one's blocking the middle linebacker, right? 48. They, they don't have enough dudes. So you got to throw it. Just a really nice, easy answer to a tough look. Next one here, second and eight, balls on the 25. We're going to throw a slant up top. Again, they're bringing five in pressure from the heavens. Safety type, you can see him cheating down. We're just going to throw right behind him, replace him. Beautiful base, nice rhythm, timing from Lamar Jackson. This is the world I would want to see him live in as a pocket passer. When he does throw from the pocket, he's got the capacity to play it like this. It's just about the consistency. So super clean decision, easy to see. Right, they continue to want to bring five. So you're coming down, creating this huge void for essentially double slant. Go fast and first. Traditional slant on the backside. And you can see this big window. Again, things to really like. Lamar Jackson, the rhythm, 
the base, the no heel click, the, you know, meh toes element of it. But beautiful flick, nice read, great play call. Again, just having answers for those defensive looks. They're going to avoid the safety, put it right behind him. Let's go. Next one here, really the only true bad read for me with Lamar Jackson. And it gets a little bit unlucky. This is a nice play from five. This to me is Rip Liz Matchy on the back end with the DB types. Watch five carry the inside post, 88, and then he's going to fall off. Whoop. Lamar Jackson, you know, I don't know how you would know that five is going to make that play. Right there, besides the fact that maybe five is staring at you the whole time, or you know they play iterations of Ripley's match down here, because this is a really nice idea here as far as what they're trying to do scheme-wise. So what we got going here is just a tight double bunch, or double post. Up, post. Now, here's five. He's carrying this post. So when he does that, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to run with him to the middle field post. But really, he passes him off and then spins back and makes a play on the outside post. Now, you can see likely here, he just wants the ball high. Well, he wants the ball high all the time. You know, maybe a high throw is a little bit better. You know, you'll often hear me say high back five. But this is really more of a tight window, let it rip shot on him, laser. So I think it's more than anything just a Tough window, red zone windows are tough. They kind of get you here. They don't catch it. If he could catch, he'd be playing offense. You know, the other thing I might tell likely on the outside is to run. It looks like he kind of like slows down out of the break like he's anticipating it. That doesn't look like he's running full speed out there as the wing number one. So if he wants it on the high back five, you really got to go. But you could see here, if he put it on top of Mo there, five can't make that play. But again, I see what Lamar Jackson sees right there. That window is going to be there if five continues to carry with 88. But he makes a hell of a play, falls back into it, just can't make the catch. So a little lucky, but because we're on time, it's a harder catch for five. And because we throw a laser, tough window. And again, you know, if you threw it high, sure. I, would, I just think likely he's running like he's anticipating it like a bang eight as opposed to that over-the-top on top of Mo, and again, what I'm talking about here is this post being thrown up here on the high back five part of the end zone, so the back part of this thing. Then five can't spin off and make this play. So just a different type of club selection. I think AD could probably run a little bit faster if he wants that high back five as well. Lucky. Next one here, beautiful touchdown run. This to me is a PRO quarterback lead draw again taking advantage of Lamar Jackson's skill set great job finding the end zone two touchdowns on the day running it this is a awesome call it really is because I love the fact that it gives you horizontal and vertical answers so when I'm saying PRO I'm saying he could throw this if he wants these guys in the slot look like they're coming off on the Greg Roman special meaning that we're running this kind of out and go on both sides and I don't know if you could throw the goes, but these guys on the slot definitely look like they're anticipating potentially getting the ball here. So if it was a, a heavy box or you didn't like it, the quarterback draw part of it, you could throw those things. Now the part that I love too is because Lamar Jackson can run it, you get the lead element. So it's quarterback lead draw. So we're leading up. And then we've got the center right guard, whoever is the unblocked one to come up and ends up getting the safety. So you get these pulls on these outside linebacker types with the routes. That's the horizontal stretch. So horizontal, horizontal, and then you get the vertical run game element. So just a lot of stress on the defense. Watch how wide those outside linebacker types get. Get out of there. Whoop. They run and match. It's a beautiful match call. So as they match to the, out, to the slot outs, you can see that, <laughs> that linebacker is all by himself. Good luck. I mean, it'd be hard to tackle Lamar Jackson in space by yourself, let alone with a back leading up and the center leading up for the safety. It's a beautiful call. Great execution. Great design. Big time to be able to run it in any time in the red zone. But second and long to get this kind of run. Look at that wiggle and twitch. Hell yeah. Next one here. Big play action chunk. Now probably not how you have it drawn up as far as working the end down here to the bottom and the fourth or fifth window across the field. There's nothing there. 
This is beautiful pass protection. We've got all day to throw, all day. And eventually we're going to find somebody down the field, a better ball. This is even a bigger chunk. But I love the fact that eventually Lamar Jackson gets to the backside in here. Now, the backside in is not a great route. <laughs> this is not what we're looking for. Now, maybe he's trying to get something else besides the backside in over there. But he's able to keep playing football, keep playing football, and eventually gets a chunk down the field. So what this thing looks like route-wise on the perimeter is we're going to run this in where the ball ends up coming down here to the bottom. And we're going to get pushed way to the sideline, like off the screen. Then we're going to come out of this thing. First window, no. Second window, no. Third window, no. Fourth window, yes. <laughs> okay, that's outstanding pass protection. A little long trap action here. We're going to move the launch point. Now it looks like it's paired with what I'm used to calling a shake or a post corner. Never going to be there. You know, maybe they're trying to get something else back this way because it sure looks like Lamar Jackson hits his back foot and is looking back this way. So really, not, I mean, this play is built off the pass protection more than anything else, but I love the patience here. No, 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 yes. I mean, just go through the windows down here at the bottom. Look at this route at the bottom, how wide he is getting pushed with bad leverage. No, no. Third window, no. Fourth window, yes. <laughs> and again, better ball, and that thing might turn into punt return right. Regardless, it's a nice big chunk rewards the pass protection with a big first down again we're pulling the left guard reset the launch point beautiful patience the old box out block down here from the left tackle like he's at the wreck always love to see that down on the ground don't let him get the rebound keep playing you sinker next one here fourth and one this is a hell of a play call so this is, they're running power up top, and Lamar just keeps it with the left tackle. So instead of the gap hinge, you kind of get this lead blocker leading out. Again, just the dynamic athlete runner that Lamar Jackson is. So we're running power to the right. This is, this is power. Now, it's not maybe blocked as great as you would love. I mean, I'm not sure the back gets a first down here. He probably does if you get a true gap hinge on the backside because the guy that tackles him is technically the gap hinge player on the backside. But it's a beautiful call for Lamar Jackson to keep it, get out on the edge, get an easy first down compared to, you know, sticking your head in there on fourth and one. So, again, just watching the left tackle. Normally, he would hinge that thing with his right hand and strike the three technique and not let him make that tackle. But right here, he pops back out. Again, just a beautiful fourth and one play call. Seemed like they had all the answers on the critical down and distances. So, again, what is power? Depending on what you want to do with this wing, if you want to arc him or send him down, but the play side of this is almost universally gap down. So down, 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 all the way back. We are then going to kick out with the fullback type, kick out the first one to show, and then the backside guard is pull wrapping for the play side inside linebacker. And then we're just coming downhill right there trying to run off a play side double team. Now the block that I'm saying here doesn't happen is normally this is a gap, so he'll strike this cat with his right hand, step this way, secure this, let the center take it over, and then hinge to kind of prevent this guy from making a play. That's not what happens here, though. He kind of quick gaps, lets this guy go, and then gets out and lead blocks out. So they probably put this on Lamar Jackson to say, if you want, hand it off. If not, pull it. And or maybe he just tells the left tackle that he's going to keep it, and this is what they do. But again, if, if 79 were to true gap hinge that thing, I don't think that B-gap player comes back and makes this tackle on the back. Again, you can see the center can't quite get there on the 4 eye. I mean, they're, they're blocking that pretty hard on the play side for it to be a fake. It's just a beautiful call. It really is, man. Eight brings so many problems <laughs> to a defense. Holy moly. Next one here. Another rough, hot situation for me. So we're going to be hot down here to the bottom, free runner. You know, again, Lamar Jackson has proven that he can bail and kind of make plays on the backside in a non-traditional pressure-beating way. You know, to throw a basic like this versus a hot, I think is not a great decision. I think the thing that kind of makes this hurt even more is versus zero. Now, 
do you know it's zero here? I don't know if I would know it's zero because this looks like middle field closed. As you feel at zero or as you see at zero, or if you know you're hot here, maybe you can get this post thrown. I think that would be the A plus answer to this test. Okay, a plus here. And an A minus would be if you have this rail in your system or wheel, if this thing turns into a hot flat versus pressure. Now that's putting up probably too much on the back. Not a whole lot of NFL running backs will be able to handle changing their route based off pressure. But I've seen some, and some offenses have it built in. So that's another. That's the A minus answer. The A answer also is to, especially when you have flanker drive coming towards you here. Clean this thing up for us. When you have flanker drive coming towards you here, I've also seen people play this drive or shallow as the hot answer to pressure from over here. Because if this guy blitzes, he's going to avoid this area universally. Not all the time, most of the time. And you can play that so you can drift this way and throw back to this. So again, you've got options here. Zero, or the post is the best option. Breaking off a flat, another option. This is another option, hitting the shallower drive. What I think you don't want to do <laughs> is what he ends up doing here, and that's throwing the basic late down the middle. Now again, I've already shown him beating pressure untraditional ways. So he certainly can do it. I don't think this is a world many people want to live in. So first off, zero. Post, bottom, throw it. Ooh, I don't know. Tough to be able to get there. Break off a flat down here to the bottom. Not a problem. Flowers on the shallow. Probably where the ball should go. Either way, you know, better than a sack, an incompletion, but certainly living on the edge. And it sure felt like the Texans wanted to get him in situations like this where he was, you know, kind of felt like he didn't quite have the answers to the test. Ah, 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 ah. That's a dangerous ass throw. Next one here, second and 10. We're going to be hot again, zero again. This time we do throw the flat to the bottom. So we know we can do it. And it's certainly part of the process. You can see the hot options here. So we've got hot to the left, throw it to the back. You can see the left tackle on a big duel. Takes the defensive end. Hot off the slow linebacker pressure. Throw the flat. You've got hot options both sides here. Double slant up top. Look good. Down here to the bottom, the only thing I would add here as this guy becomes more and more seasoned, I would love to see a pick here. So get up and run through red glove, red shoes here as he's trying to run to this flat as opposed to like running to try to get open. Like it's zone and you're a potential part of the read. It's zero. Set a pick. Get a rub. So just the element of execution down here to the bottom. But that's a nice zero answer. It doesn't get a first down because we jump out of bounds. But it's a good, quick decision. You know, it looks like he kind of, I don't know if he knows he's hot to the left. It looks like he's looking to the right. But we get the ball out of our hands quickly. It's a nice, easy chunk. Very next play here, third and two. We're going to be hot again. This time it's stick spacing. We're going to hit the flat again versus zero. Again, it's the same answer to the same question. They're going to zero us. Get the ball out of your hands. We're going to be hot off 53. The left linebacker, throw into the hot. Third down, make somebody miss, fall forward, first down. So just a really nice job from Lamar Jackson. So th this is the thing for me that is a little confusing when you turn on the film. Here's the stick element of this. Here's the flat, spacing on the backside. Don't really care who's who in the zoo up there. Here's the free runner. So he certainly can play the hot into the free runner, but he just doesn't all the time. And so it will be interesting over the course of his career if he starts doing this more and more. I personally think this is the easier way to go. He's obviously a much better athlete than I ever dreamed or thought about and can rely on his athletic ability to do wild things. But as you get away from wanting to get hit, these are nice, easy answers. You can like seeing it built into the system, decisive, third down, situational ball, beating pressure. They certainly wanted to bring pressure and thought that they could. And it certainly impacted him some, but he got into a rhythm of it here, getting the ball to the flat. Nice game, first down. Next one here, little Greg Roman special. They ran this quarterback sweep earlier, crack sweep, come back, have the pass off of it. It's a nice throw. It's an even better catch from Likely. Again, you can understand why Likely wants the ball high. 
He just goes up and mosses him. Nice job fighting through there. And that's a hell of a catch. <laughs> that's a big time catch. Beautiful job here again of layering the play call again. Munkin's not inventing these plays, okay? They've been running these plays in Baltimore for a long time. But this still doesn't take away from the execution here from 80. 24's got his back turned right there. You can see 24, the numbers. He's only covering the width of his shoulders. Give your guy a chance. The timing of it, the ball location, and again, great catch with your hands. Go up and make that play. Watch 80 have to fight through traffic here on the right. So he's got to fight through that traffic. Fight, 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 fight. When Lamar throws that thing right there, you can see 24 top left with his back turned. Throw it anywhere between the width of his shoulders. And that's a hell of a catch. Nice adjustment. Next one here. This is a wild one. So this to me is a perfect example of Lamar Jackson being Lamar Jackson. I'm going to argue that this is not a true quarterback run read option. I think he just pulls it and sees it. And it's just his ability to feel, see the space, because technically, this is an RPO. He's got a glance. This is one back power. There's nothing he's reading on the backside. It, it looks like, oh, 52 is running free. That's an easy like zone read, read, where he's going to tackle the back. But the left tackle is gap hinging there. He just falls. He's, he's blocking 52. Lamar just feels that edge and takes it. The true read would be to throw the glance to the play side to flowers. And so let me say that again. That's a lot of me trying to make excuses for what the hell happened here. But I really do think Lamar Jackson just sees this. This is feel football. Okay, so first off, what is the play? The play is one back power. And so one back power, you're going to pull the guard. You come into the play side inside linebacker. But this is a box count type of play. So how many people are in the box? There's five at the line of scrimmage backer, and safety down. So this safety universally would be unblocked. And that's the seventh defender, seventh. He's the quarterbacks, usually. Most teams will answer this with America's RPO with a glance. I think it's universally done with duo, but one back power works the same way. So if this player inserts into the box, we probably should be throwing glance behind it. That's the easy thing. To, that's not the easy thing. That's the answer that's baked into this play. What Lamar Jackson does here is this guy runs with, I think they run a bubble up top. So this alley, he just sees this. He just feels this. He's not reading this player. This player is blocked by the, supposed to be blocked by the left tackle. Again, just play this thing out. Down here to the bottom, number five, this conflict defender right here. That's the quarterback's read. Does he insert into the run? Yes, throw the throw the glance. You see flowers come out of this thing, right? There, throw it. That's the answer. Now, <laughs> when we watch it from behind, <clears throat> we'll be able to see he just feels this thing. And to me, this is what he brings to the table that damn near no one else does. This is not taught. This is feel football. And when it works, it is outstanding. So again, not a great box count here, right? You don't have to be a math guru to see five and two well we only have six in the run blocking unit and this guy is technically the quarterbacks we should be beating him with an rpo glance behind and so what we're going to do blocking wise here one back power we're out usually we're deucing to the backside. and no, that's not true we're going to go here down we're going to try to come back here this is the gap hinge so he's going to step here, secure this, let the center take it over. Once the center takes it over, then you hinge back out and get this guy. That's what's supposed to happen. And then the backside guard is pulling technically for the playside inside linebacker who might be the quarterback's guy here, but should be this guy. Okay, so they at the end of the day, they got too many dudes. <laughs> but the answer that Lamar pulls here is better than the answer baked into the play. You can see flowers come open right there on the glance, but Lamar's already running. He just feels this. I mean, it just puts so much stress on a defense. I don't know how you defend it. It's wild. Next one, third and seven, they're going to heat us up again. Zero. We're going to run the same play, spot, double slant. Last time we threw the flat, and I got on flowers for not getting a rubber pick. 
Maybe they don't ask him to do that because he can do this. <laughs> Same situation here. Be a different guy that he would have to rubber pick, but Lamar Jackson throws to Flowers on the little spot or snag. This is the same play, y'all. I just showed the one where we threw it to the flat where I said, man, it'd be nice if we could get a pick here. Come up corner with the double slant on the backside. Right? Pretty easy to remember. We threw it there. This time we're just throwing it here. Now, again, is it the answer that I think most people would take to the test? No. But is it a hell of a play? Yes. It's it, You know, you can see how it works. Now, I personally would love Flowers to get a little bit more of a rub, but it would be hard to get a rub on a guy who's standing at the line of scrimmage, especially if he's a traditional defensive end with his hand on the ground. He pops up. We're hot. We get caught up in the wash. They miss a tackle. And that thing almost turns into a touchdown. If he keeps running forward, who knows? You can see we're going to be hot off five again. On the right, he gets caught in the wash on the AAA battery blitz. Get the ball out of your hand quickly to the hot side. Good things happen. Hell yeah. Last one here. Another touchdown run. Lamar Jackson. Same play concept-wise as the fourth and one. Power pull where that left tackle gets out, leads the way, doesn't do his traditional backside gap hinge, and then we're off into the tunnel. So beautiful job here from Lamar Jackson. Again, you can see him kind of peeking over his right shoulder right there. It's a little bit different of a look with now you've got a tight end to that side, but the left tackle gets out, leads the way. And that's a great job from Lamar Jackson finding the end zone. Love it. Big time. Again, just great play call, timely play calls, taking advantage and using Lamar Jackson's ability to run it. You know, I think it's one of those things where people continue to still struggle with the ability for these guys to be so dynamic. Also, the Ravens home stadium... <laughs> When you see the like fake stone over here to the left, am I the only person that thinks of, God, what is that restaurant called? Medieval times, medieval times, the purple knight, the winner. Can I get a fork or a knife? There were no utensils in medieval times. Hence, there are no ten utensils at medieval times. Would you like a refill on that Pepsi? There were no utensils, but there was a Pepsi. Dude, I got a lot of tables. I got a lot of film to watch. Y'all enjoy. So that is a wrap. Lamar Jackson, really impressive performance. Spinning it all over the place, running it all over the place, running for 100 yards in a playoff game, ridiculous. Multiple touchdowns throwing it, multiple touchdowns running it. You couple that with what I would say is a much more robust, uh, comprehensive NFL offense. We're throwing RPOs. We've got play action. We've got a drop back game. We're getting through reads. We've got hot answers. All of those things. And man, this offense is fun to watch. You couple that, I think, with really timely play calling that uses Lamar's skill set running the rock. I don't know, man. It's going to be tough to stop. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Thank you so much for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.